there are no fossils of whales known from the Precambrian, Paleozoic, or Mesozoic era. When the dinosaurs became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, so did a variety of marine reptiles. In the era that followed, the Cenozoic era, mammals evolved to replace these as the top predators of the ocean. In the earliest parts of the Cenozoic era, while there are no whales, there are a number of mammals which begin to develop the features which are observed in whales. At first, these are four-footed, that they uh, are capable of walking on land, and probably that was their predominant form of locomotion. However, they would have been capable of swimming as well. These uh, groups then gradually became more adapted for life in the ocean. Their limbs shortened. They uh, developed uh, an elongated head. And one can observe, say, the position of the blowhole, which started off at the tip of the snout, as is typical for nostrils, gradually move along the length of the head so that it reached the point found in modern whales uh, above the eyes. One can observe gradual stages through a number of whales, and all of these early whales retained all four legs. Some, like Rhodocetus, had modified the hind legs into large flipper-like structures, so while uh, they retained their legs, these legs were modified for marine life. Eventually, uh, with the Dorodontine whales and the Basilosaurids, these hind legs had become tiny appendages. They were still present, you know, with all of the bones associated with legs, a femur, a tibia, a fibula, a patella, tarsal and metatarsal bones. On the Basilosaurids, animals which could reach 60 feet in length, these legs might only have been, say, 6 inches, and so they were uh, relatively functionless in locomotion. Nevertheless, these legs were still present. It was only in the most recent times that the modern groups of whales evolved. And so most of the whales which existed during the age of mammals were primitive forms which were extinct today. It has been recorded from the whaling days of previous centuries that modern whales sometimes do possess cartilage remnants of their legs, a femur or even a femur and tibia, uh, which doesn't penetrate their body wall, but which nevertheless are present.